Boeing 747 is the most successful aircraft in Boeing's history, period. Not only did it revolutionize the aviation industry since it was introduced, but it also set the blueprint for what would come in the future. Many aviation enthusiasts like myself grew up with the 747 and I can still remember as a kid when I first flew on the plane. No other aircraft has made me have an attachment to the plane the way the 747 did. But as I always say, previous success does not mean future success. With the advent of newer generation aircraft like the 787 Dreamliner, the 777X and the A350, the relevance of the 4-engine beast is unfortunately becoming less and less relevant. Now, Bloomberg was the first to report the closure of the 747 production line on July 2, 2020. Boeing has so far declined to confirm or deny that it has made any final decision about the future of the jumbo jet. As it stands now, Boeing has orders for 12 of the 747-8 freighters. In January of last year, the Russian company Volga Dnieper informed Boeing that it might not be able to pay for four of the freighters, possibly due to the COVID-19 pandemic. There's also been growing signs that the 747 production line was nearing its end in recent years. Production has slowed down to just one aircraft per month in 2015 and is now proceeding at only half that rate. Unfortunately, demand for the 747-8 models, the only version of the jumbo jet that is still in production, has been dwindling in the past 15 years and airlines around the world have been steadily retiring all the 747 models in recent years. Boeing hasn't sold a single passenger variant of the 747 in the last few years, when the first flight took place in 2010. These aircraft were not new production, however, having been built originally for the now bankrupt airline Trans Aero. There's very little hope that Boeing is able to sell any more 747s, especially during the climate in which we're in now. Boeing has sold only 47 of the 747-8s up to now. If the production of the plane ends after the company fulfills its current orders, it would have produced over 153 planes in total, including those configured as freighters. What makes it even worse is that Boeing has lost an estimated $40 million on each 747-8 sold since 2016. Their experience reflects a general market trend as well. In 2019, Airbus announced that it will close the production of the A380, which is the only real direct competitor to the 747, in 2021 due to the lack of demand. When that production line shuts down, a total of 251 A380s will have been built, a fraction of more than 1,550 747s of all of the models that Boeing has built since the 1960s. Now, there are many reasons why airlines decided not to order the 747 and choose other aircraft such as the Dreamliners and the A350 instead. Despite major improvements in efficiency and range on the 747-400, there were other planes on the market turning heads. Long-range planes that could have operated at lower cost, including the 777X, and there had been an overall decline in demand for planes with 400 plus capacity since the turn of the decade. The pandemic which has destroyed the aviation industry has only further compounded the situation. The air cargo industry, however, has fared better, especially with the distribution of the vaccine, but there is still not enough demand to justify keeping the 7478 freighter production line going. Boeing's commercial side has also run into a number of issues as well. This includes difficulties in development, initial production, and early years of service of its 787 Dreamliner, and more recently, the incidents surrounding the 737 MAX. Shutting down the already increasingly unprofitable 747 line would certainly offer a way to defray at least some of the company's losses. Boeing could then potentially use that newly freed up production space and other associated resources for other purposes. I know it sounds all doom and gloom at this moment in time, but there is hope. UPS has a fleet larger than many airlines, over 500 owned and leased aircraft, and they won't be retiring their 747-400 model freighters as well as the 747-8 freighter, which Boeing calls the world's most efficient freighter, continues to arrive. For UPS, the aircraft may prove more popular in the communities in which it operates as well, as the 747-8 freighter is said to be 30% quieter than the 747-400. 
Although cargo demand seems to be voracious, it looks like the production of the vulnerable Sound 47 will end in 2022. UPS may be the last customer to receive the new 747, but the aircraft will continue to play a role in carrying the world's most important cargo for many years to come. Of course, the 747s of various types, including freighters and the future Air Force One aircraft, will continue to fly for some decades to come, after the production of the 747 ends. At the same time, the instantly recognizable 747 family has entered into the twilight of its existence. So, Captains, I know there will be quite a lot of you who will be very emotional and very attached to the 747. Do let me know if you think the 7478 is a failure or do you think there will be demand for it in the future. Thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you guys very soon.